Uh, yo, 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 hello and welcome to our podcast podcast. It is me, your favourite host, and uh, your least favourite co-host. My producers are telling me that we need to wrap this one more up quick because we do not have enough time, so let's get straight into it. Taffy, what colour is a mirror? Uh, uh, yes. That's a very interesting insight on what colour a mirror is. Now, obviously, I don't know if it has an actual colour per se, because when it is produced in the factory, there might be a certain colour that elevates in front of the uh, other ones. However, it is a reflective surface, therefore shouldn't it have every colour, therefore no colour. And therefore shouldn't mirrors not exist, because not only do they not have actual properties, they don't actually emit any light, and obviously everything in this world has to emit light. Are you following? I don't think everything has to emit light. I don't know what I said. <laughs> yeah, me neither. Some of that didn't make any sense. I could probably go on. That's right. like you- yeah, I, maybe. I could go on like that for 40 minutes. I'd like... Yeah, it just <laughs> sometimes just doesn't make sense. I'm like genuinely we'll, out we'll, of breath. We'll go over what you just said and have a look. So you said that... Um... Okay, well, we, we, need, we need to start with uh, what's a mirror first off. Mirror is simply a... Okay, but Isn't we it like a surface a designed surface to be reflective? Works. Yes. But I don't know how that works like, at all. I don't know how. Because then, works. like, is it if my phone screen is black and I can see my reflection, is that a mirror? Uh, partly yes. I yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's just meant to. It transfers the light particles from one place to our eyes. So so whatever the, this is like the biggest light source, which is generally in front of it. Right, it's going to go into it and then come back out to whatever's looking at it. Uh, mirror, a surface typically of glass coated in a metal amalgam, amalgam, amalgam okay. which uh, reflects amalgam. a clear image. Amalgam is just like a metal oh, okay. mixture. Okay, yeah, I couldn't, okay. Um, just like amalgamation. It's just a mixture. That makes sense, I guess. Uh, well, I googled what colour is a mirror and it just has white. White? I don't think it's white. Uh, it's a perfect mirror that reflects back all the colours uh, comprising white light is also white. That said, real mirrors aren't perfect and the surface items give any reflection a slight, very slight green tinge as the atoms in the glass reflect the right. back green. So it's white. Yeah. A mirror is white. Well, that's a boring answer. Are all mirrors used? Are all mirrors? Uh, Generally, yes. Did Vsauce make a video on what color a mirror is? Uh, it sounds like something they make a video on. He did. Michael Stevens. Michael Stevens, good man. Alright, well in the meantime, we will talk about world issues regarding Apologies for anyone listening, hoping, hoping that it would be like what what, would... what would we do to get rid of an asteroid that's on close to us? Oh, uh, that's right. Yep, that's it. All right. Uh, what shall we do? What what do we do? So, what's the exact situation? An asteroid. We is... have. How long do we have? We have. Okay, okay, so we have technology on Earth that allows us to see uh, into outer space and like. Make Telescopes. sure we we don't just get yeah we make sure we don't just get like slapped by some asteroid out of nowhere, right? So we're gonna say we have a month foresight like we we it's coming in a month. It's it's the size of um the Empire State Building and it's going to literally destroy the entire world. How do we how do we set it off course? It's coming straight for us. Uh... How do we how to get how do we get rid of this? Where is it exactly hitting? Hey, where is it hitting? Yeah. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say Antarctica. Antarctica. Yeah. Actually, no. No, I'm gonna say the Philippines. The Philippines? Okay. Because they're on the, they're on the equipment. Oh, yeah. Okay. All close to that. Thank you, Asteroid, for being, uh, like, cautious on where you're hitting and that you hit a place near the equator so we wouldn't rock too much yes um, don't do a lot of damage anyways if it's hitting the equator it's gonna like destroy everything you know um okay can we push it off course um 
it's a we... giant ball with the mass of the Empire State Building and it's burning and barreling towards Can we crash a rocket into it? Planet. I think we could. I don't know what it would do. Assuming that the rocket is about the size of the Empire State Building. How big is, how big is a rocket? Well, is yeah, it the size so of the Empire State Building? Probably a bit less. Okay, a little bit less than the Empire can State Building. Nuke, so, can we nuke it? Can we nuke it? Well, yeah. worst case scenario is that we make it a radioactive burning ball being held towards us. Okay, here's the thing though. If we do that, what happens? We die. If we don't do anything, yeah. what happens? We die. <laughs> Well, in this situation, the method doesn't really matter as long as it's not right, kind of. I, I think well, nukes are made for human deaths. If we're going for pure destructive power, I think like just ballistic missiles work, since we have more of those anyways. Yeah, Actually, sure. Uh, like we ballistic might have more nukes. missile. Then, how about we just blow it up? Then? Right. I don't think we could have ballistic missiles that go into space, though. I don't think we have that technology yet. Dude, if we have a month to save our planet, I'm pretty sure we can find out. Like, sure, we can I find guess. a way. Um, Empire State Building isn't that big. What What if we said like the size of the, a, py a pyramid or something, which is very big? Um, what if it, What if it's just an another Earth? Another it's Earth. Just another, it's just we're, another we're, Earth. We're done. Like, what if Venus we're done. just yeah, comes no, in? Easily, no way with like, surviving. Like, yeah, I, Venus just walks in out nowhere and slams into us. Like, no, that is like, there's That's literally true. nothing. Anything that you think of will be disproven simply by the fact that it is. Well, the thing that kills it is going to be like, if it, if we do have something that can destroy a planet, it's going to be dubbed like the planet killer. That's pretty. F I was about to say was, uh, it's, it's a pretty sick name for a weapon. Yeah. But I don't think we have anything that can destroy a planet. It's a bit too difficult. Like, uh, it's yes, too it's called global warming, and it's already destroying <laughs> one planet. It's just in a month we send half the human population yeah. to go over to Venus and just mess it up from the inside. <clears throat> that is a meticulous plan, to say the least. Okay, here's something that I saw. Like, I think I already told you, but like... That most pollution isn't from like plastic straws or like waste or like single use cups. It's like I, like big companies and corporations like yeah, waste. Obviously. It, that's like that's that's the problem. Like if if you were to build up a huge corporation, right? And you're you're not very eco friendly, and then there are people telling you to turn eco friendly, but your profits like half. Right, like, I'd have troubles just letting go of that because, you know, you worked hard for the position that you've got and people are telling you to dumb it down a bit for the sake of the planet, right? So yeah, most I, people I... Have, a, like, have an easier time just losing what they've earned for the sake of the planet, but some people can't, right? That's just the problem with humans in general. Mm, but I mean, like... Um, yeah... I don't get why, like, companies aren't willing to change, I guess. Because if they do... Well, yeah, then, if, like, if, they do, if they do, they save the planet, but if they don't, then... The planet gets a little worse, and they, but they don't lose profits, like... Yeah. We went to, we've gotten to a point now where, like, the bigger the number, the better, and the whatever way you can get that number to get, the way you're gonna go with. So, I, I guess it's also like now. it's like you're in the <clears throat> low side again, like a good reputation. Right. Like if you're known as one of the only companies that's like only using reusable stuff. Yeah. Or like not doing any waste and people will just go like, huh, yeah, okay. Okay. Like, I don't know. Good, nice. There's yeah. just like a five second 
10 second long gap and just silent spell. No, they, we're waiting for uh, everyone else to um, uh, respond with their opinion. Um, okay, if you're listening, go put your opinions in the comment section. Yes. What is your opinion on global warming? Comment in the um, description below. Wait, but you can't, okay. Yeah, yeah you can. <laughs> you you, no. just, you just scroll down and then you click on it and you will type and it will show up in the description. Um, okay. Well, this podcast just got downhill. Okay, quick, without thinking, what's your best fast food place? What is uh, the best fast food? Matt, why? Why Mac is? Well, because Mac is great. Why? No, no. That's, <laughs> why is it great? Mac is Mac is has gotten better recently. Um, why? And people don't give Mac is enough credit for it. Like they're they're hiring actual, like, not, you know, constantly. Am I allowed to say these words? They're like not just a ratty teenager. They're hiring like people with some sort of skill or determination to work at Magnus. <laughs> um, I mean, I'm pretty sure it's like if you're if you live in this society, we live in a yeah. society. If you are living in this society and you are like under the age of like thirty, you are going yeah. to have to work fast food. Yeah, that's that's not that that's a given because unless, sim- you, can, like, unless you can. No, we should talk to after five minutes. No, even Actually, then they'll go, hey, uh, come back with it once you have a bit of work experience. Yeah. Well, you can always just try to be some unique entrepreneur making money in some new way that no one's thought of before. But then again, you have to actually be unique and there's... You can only be unique once. So, yeah. Yeah. Society's made that way now that it's super hard to earn a living. Stuff. Oh yeah, definitely. Cause like, yeah, like even like a couple decades ago, all you needed was like any form of education, and you could already get a, like a job that would set you for life. No, yeah, right, yeah. But if you don't. You're basically stuck in a rut for a while. Um, yeah, you, you have people that can be like working special jobs that are working in like or in you know like it's 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 reached that point now where the only people at the top are the people who got lucky with what they were like born into. Mm, yeah, but if like, you were born to a noble family or something, right? Like life is just a big game. It's so chance. much easier for you. Yeah. Well, the place you start is chance, and the rest of it's luck. Or yeah, the rest of it's like I'm pretty a combination like, of luck and skill. Like I can have the most like skill in the world. Like I could have an amazing brain if I'm like a kid born in Africa. My chances of like. <laughs> yeah. You can't use that brain. Living, <laughs> living long enough to cure cancer, like, yeah. isn't great. <clears throat> but yeah, why, why, what makes Macca so good? Um, well, yeah, they're hiring better people. They've got competent workers. Uh, they, they, they've realized how like awful their food is, and they're actually trying to make an effort to make it better. When are, you are they think the... about like something like uh, KFC. KFC used to be better with McDonald's, in my opinion. Really? But now that McDonald's is actually putting work into what they make, and, like, actually unique food items... Are you referring to, like, the fact that they're now calling, like, all the quarter pounders and stuff, like, juicier and tastier? I, I don't think so. Even though they, is, like... I think that is a part of it. Like, even though I'm, like... Is part of it. Even though I'm 90% sure they haven't changed anything. They, they've just used large amounts of butter. <laughs> have you have you seen like this thing that happened with like new coke? No. Like ages ago. I don't think I've heard of it. Oh, no, my chair's squeaky. Alright, nice. Um it was like I don't um 
I, I have to look up, like, um, I'm pretty sure, so, um, it was re-released, like, not too long ago, um, yeah. but I think I, I'm paraphrasing, obviously, but I think, right. like, they were, they were making coke, and then they found another way to make I think it was like with extra sugar, like replace sugar with chemicals or something. I'm not 100% sure. But they decided, there's a theory that they decided to make new Coke, which added in like a whole bunch of stuff. And now everyone was like, oh, yuck, this is disgusting. And then after a year or so, Coke were like, oh, okay, well, here's the original. But instead of the original, they changed the recipe. Because otherwise everyone would be able to taste it different. Okay, fair enough. So they changed the entire cook recipe. I don't, I don't know if that's true. And then now everyone's doing stuff because of Stranger Things or something. I don't know. Okay. This is very vague. <laughs> no idea what you're talking about. It kind of makes sense, I guess. Like, it, they're, they're so really just businessy. Mm. It's like, why did you do that? What was the point? But um, if if you're good at business and you're you're if you're talented in that area, then you know advertisements can make a big impact, and you know, like any attention is good attention. Yeah. Um, maybe not for something like fuck fast food or. And, because you know some people might not buy your product but if it is you know if people start talking about it then you know, people start to get into it they, they think about it more it, it gives people it, we can go back to your little yeah if you don't have people looking at you and testing you for what you are, then you can't show your work. So that's why any advertising is, or any attention for any type of company is good, so that people can watch and then see if you're really worth what you say you are. So it's important, advertising everything. But sometimes it just flops and makes no sense, which is also entirely possible. Yeah, uh, this happens are so basic nowadays, but... I mean, there there is a couple of good ones, I think. Like, I believe that, like, Aldi does a lot of great ads. Yeah. But, like, even then, for every one good one, you have, like, 200 basic co- cookie-cutter ads. Right, that, like, yeah. Yeah. If you want to stand out, you better do good ads. Or even, like, I think doing, like, sponsorships for, like, YouTube... It's better than ads. Because if you pick the right person, we'll just get enough. Yeah. Like, and boy, I can guarantee that, like, even months ago, I had no idea that, like, honey or, like, any sort of that stuff existed. But right. now, like, simply by the sheer well, amount of YouTube, like, people they're, getting sponsored. They're doing, like, they're doing, like, cookie cutter advertisements, but there's just so many of them. Mm. That you're forced to look at them and stuff. And even then, there's like YouTubers. I think like commentary YouTubers are probably the best. Like they they full on make skits about their um, uh, sponsorships, yeah, yeah. their ad reads. They yeah. make it good. They make me like watch it and not just skip through them talking about like yeah. Realm Royale, the greatest new game that like everyone's playing. If 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 someone can make a, an ad like interesting, then I I can get into it. Like uh. Michael Reeves, really good YouTuber, absolutely hilarious. Um, he's, his advertisements might not be the best, but I'm willing to watch them simply because he's talking about them. He's just a really funny person. Mm, yeah. So, so if you if the companies are picking the right people, exactly, then it, it does so much for their company. Like if I um, see a Jake Paul video <clears throat> sponsored by like SeatGeek. I'm gonna be like, oh, okay, that's kind of, that exists, because he's yeah, probably gonna yeah. ramble on about it for like a couple yeah. minutes and get back to like 
I don't know, blowing his house up. Yeah, but if I see like an, even like so like most of the time they're small YouTubers or something, like trying their hardest, just like to make like I don't know get the best deal or something. Yeah. Then I'll be like, hey, I might check it out. Yeah. Um, you have you have companies like G Fuel to, su- to oh, yeah. su- support PewDiePie, and that was a really good. That that was, that worked it's, out. It's, like, yeah, since it's, it's like such. It's like a staple of PewDiePie now. G Fuel is a staple. I think, has the contract, like... Was there a contract or something? I don't know. Well, I wouldn't know if there's a contract. Because, like, but he hasn't promoted I'm it. sure they're, they're not, like... Like, I think... Because, like, he hasn't mentioned it for, like, a long time. So I'm not sure if there was, like, a contract or it's just, yeah. like, official. I don't think... Like... 